Hello there, good to see you in that beautiful little face of yours. It's looking good, it's looking real good, looking great, looking real good. Hi there, hello. Exciting news, uh, and that is that this video is uh, sponsored by Taco Bell. Why is that exciting news? Well, as you probably know, I love Taco Bell, and now I get to work with Taco Bell which is pretty much the best of both worlds. And the thing that I'm doing with them is actually really cool, and, and I think it's really important, actually, which is it's this thing called Feed the Beta. So a month ago, I went to TwitchCon. There I am driving. Look at that face. Look at that face. I get to speak on behalf of this program, Feed the Beta, and just talk with indie developers. There I am on stage talking with a few. And it was really exciting because if you've never been to TwitchCon or any kind of event like that, it really focuses on not just the personalities that play the games, but also on the games themselves. And I thought that was wonderful and it reminded me of something. And we're gonna go down memory lane together, which is that when I was a young boy, I really wanted to be a game developer. I really wanted to make video games. And the reason was, and this is gonna be kind of awkward, this might get a little serious. I know we're talking about video games, but to me it's, it's a very important topic. And it might be a little bit weird because my parents watch my vlogs. So hello, mom and dad. Uh, my apologies if this is weird for you, but I love you both very much. In high school, and I feel like this is probably a standard thing with a lot of kids in high school in that age, you know, you're not really the biggest fan of your parents. You don't dislike them, but they kind of are awkward. But to me, my home life wasn't great in high school. Um, so when I would get home, I'd immediately go straight to my computer and I would play video games. And especially, my favorite was, at the time, Counter-Strike. I loved Counter-Strike. I loved Team Fortress Classic. Those were my favorite games, and I play a lot of mods, and that's how I got into it, I would make mods. And that was my favorite because it allowed me to express myself creatively. I didn't have, you know, this is, I, this is gonna sound crazy, there was a time when cell phones didn't have cameras in them, especially not video cameras, they could take tiny little like 320 by 280 pictures, but that was it. So I didn't have like a video camera, I didn't have a way to express myself, but with video games I could express myself. And I could build maps, I could build custom skins and textures and animations and sound packages, and I, I loved that. It allowed me to express my frustrations of being a high schooler or whatever and do it in, in a video game, in a format, in a medium that I really, really liked. And the best part of that was that it was multiplayer. So I had friends. I had friends online that didn't know what my life was like in the real world. They didn't know about my family or things at school. They just knew about this passion that I had for playing and creating video games, and we shared that. So let's get back to, to TwitchCon. So when I was on stage talking to the indie developers who were part of last year's Feed the Beta program, the thing that I, I loved about them was that they had spent years making one thing, creating one experience. And that's an amazing thing to do. I mean, I can't do that. I spent about a month crafting one experience, but they spent years doing pouring every single ounce of themselves and all of their finances into this to create something that people will enjoy, that people will love, and being able to see others play their game. What, I can't even, I mean, I'm not them, but I can't even imagine seeing someone play something that you just spent so much time making and seeing their reaction, seeing their emotion immediately and getting that feedback. Oh, what a magical experience. So that was just really cool. It was really cool to be a part of that. But I think the best way to help others that are creative is to give them a platform, no matter how large or small, is to give them something to stand on and say, hey, here's this thing I made, I really hope you like it. And I, I, I love doing that. I mean, for me, just being mentioned on like planethalflife.com, rest in peace, was a huge deal. If a mod that I worked on or something was listed there, I was like, oh my gosh, people besides me and my online friends are gonna find it and they're gonna use it. So, brief thing about Feed the Beta, it's for indie devs, and basically it gives you access to a forum with experts who just kind of help you and walk through problems that you're having or just play testing the game and giving you advice. And then you also get $500 of Taco Bell food, which is just a no-brainer, I mean, come on. But it is just really cool because it helps people. It supports people, and it's a thing that we always do, it's one of the tenets of Vsauce is just supporting other creators. No matter if they're much smaller or much larger than us, it's just supporting it, because what it does is it creates a great experience for you. It shows you something that maybe you didn't know of before. So it makes me look cool by association, like, oh my gosh, Jake showed me this cool thing? Well, I must have good taste. But you know, but that's that's the reason that I do it. One, because it is cool, and two, because it adds this value. It, it makes me a curator, which I love. And that's what Taco Bell's getting into, which is great. They don't get anything out of it, besides the fact that they get to show someone something cool. And it's a benefit for everybody, and I, and I really believe in that, because it's, I don't know. 
It's the best way to grow, and it's the best way, and this sounds maybe stupid, but it's the best way to get that motivation to finish. You really need that. I mean, there's so many times where I'll make a rough cut of a video that I think is garbage. I mean, we just experienced that a few, like, a month ago. And then I start showing it to other people, and they're like, you know, this actually isn't that bad, Jake. What are you talking about? Maybe adjust this, but it's not terrible. And that's the thing where I go, oh, okay, you know what? I should continue working it. I should fight through this own self-doubt that I have to finish in it. So I don't know, the whole TwitchCon thing was just really exciting to see, and it just, it reminded me of why I love video games. I mean, now I'm more passive with them. I mean, passive, I say, even though video games are interactive. But I play them, but I don't really have an interest in making them anymore. Not like I did, because at my time, at that point in my life, in high school, that was an escape. It was a way for me to express my frustrations in a, in a different way, by making maps, or by creating entire custom modifications for something that I really loved. It showed my appreciation for that game, Half-Life, but it also just allowed me to, to get out of my own head and be in a literal different world with different friends who didn't know about what my life was like. And I could just be this thing that existed with one focus, which was to create a great experience for other people to play. I don't know, it reminded me of that, and just talking to the, the indie developers was just so... It made me think that no matter what creative field we're in, we're really not so different. We have the same fears, we have the same difficulties, just on varying scales. But it's, it's nice to know that. It's nice to know that you're not alone. Which maybe this is what these videos do for, for, for you, or for some of you is that it reminds you that there's other people who think the same way or who have the same fears no matter their size. No matter if they're popular or not, they still worry. I worry all the time. So anyway, that's just a long rant about something that I'll edit into a cohesive story. Probably won't. But anyway, if you are an indie dev or you know someone who is, I would really recommend the Feed the Beta program. It's free. Just submit a playable demo of your game. And it is really cool because it helps benefit people. And that's what I love. God, okay, so, sorry, sorry. It levels the playing field and allows more people to have more opportunities, so more talented individuals who might have been overshadowed can now shine. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just think that's a really valuable thing because it's the kind of opportunities that I would have loved to have uh, when I was trying to do this kind of stuff. So I want to see it for others because I know that there's so many people that are brilliant and that are just so creative and they just get dissuaded and they feel like it's not going to go anywhere and they give up and that is a loss. Not just for them, but for everyone else that could experience the art that they created. Anyway, okay, uh, that's, that's the end of this. That's it. But remember, it is not goodbye. Oh no, it's never goodbye. It's...